already know what is a direct and an indirect speech. So, Ankita said to Ravi, I took your pen yesterday. This is in direct speech. And in indirect speech, how are we going to write it? We are going to write, Ankita told Ravi that she had taken his pen the previous day. Now, if you notice, here said to becomes told in indirect speech. So, we have a change in the reporting verb. Also, I become she, your becomes his. So, there is a change in the pronoun. You will note that we have also inserted the conjunction that in indirect speech. Also, the verb took becomes had taken. So, the tense is changing and yesterday becomes the previous day. So, we will note that some special words are also there which undergo a change from direct to indirect speech. Apart from that, we have the modal which also changes from direct to indirect speech. Today, we are going to learn some more about conversion from direct to indirect speech. Mother said, keep your shoes properly. Now, if you read this sentence carefully, you see that this is showing an order. Keep your shoes properly. So, how are we going to write this sentence in the indirect speech? We are going to write, Mother ordered me to keep my shoes properly. So, what have we done? Said becomes ordered. Why? Because here we have an order or an instruction given. So, we change the reporting verb. Now, ordered home. That is not mentioned. So, I can take it as if mother is ordering me. Then, my sentence becomes mother ordered me to keep. So, here we have the verb keep, which in indirect speech takes its infinitive form, to keep. Now, since we have used me over here, so your shoes changes to my shoes because mother is referring to me. So, it is my shoes, then properly is written as it is. So, the sentence becomes mother ordered me to keep my shoes properly. Since in the given sentence there is no mention of the person spoken to, we are free to choose this pronoun of our choice. Now, we can also write it as mother ordered him to keep his shoes properly. So, instead of me, I can write him. So, then the change will be in this part as well. Instead of my shoes, I will write his shoes. Now, we can take any other pronoun, her, or them. Accordingly, this possessive adjective before shoes will also change. So, from this example, what did we learn? We learn that whenever we have such orders given in direct speech, we have to choose an appropriate reporting verb in indirect speech and then we have to change this verb in the order to its infinitive form. Ishan said, Vinita, don't lie to me. Now, in this case also, this part shows some kind of an order, though it is not a very strong one. So, we can write it in indirect speech as, Ishan told Vinita not to lie to him. So, in this case, what do we note? The person spoken to is Vinita. Now, since this is not a very strong order, we have avoided writing ordered as our reporting verb. So, we have written told. Now, who is told? Vinita. So, we write Vinita after told. Now, we know that the verb changes to its infinitive form. So, what is the verb? Lie. It becomes to lie. Now, note there is a don't which means do not. So, there is a negative part in this case. So, we remove the do and insert not just before the infinitive and then to me becomes to him because me refers to the speaker and the speaker is Ishan, masculine gender. So, it becomes him. 
and our final sentence becomes ishan told vinita not to lie to him the doctor said to the patient drink plenty of water daily now if you look at this sentence what do we say say to the patient drink plenty of water daily now what is it showing it is showing a form of advice so the doctor is advising the patient so we can write advised as our reporting verb then we have drink plenty of water daily so drink will become to drink so our sentence will be the doctor advised the patient to drink plenty of water daily so i hope now you are understanding how to choose the correct reporting verb we have to understand what is being suggested or what is being conveyed in the sentence and then accordingly choose our reporting verb the poor old woman said to us please give me some food now in this case what do we understand from this sentence please give me some food so it is an ardent request this poor old woman is hungry and ardently wants to have some food so what is this this is expressing a plea or a request so we can write it as the poor old woman pleaded to us to give her some food so this please is turned to pleaded to us then give is the verb it changes to its infinitive form to give now who is this me this me refers to the poor old woman so we write the pronoun her instead of me and then some food so our sentence becomes the poor old woman pleaded to us to give her some food now since this please is also showing a request instead of pleaded we could have written requested us now when we write requested we do not mention the two so it would be simply requested us to give her some food so there can be two ways of writing this sentence tina said to her mother let me watch a movie this afternoon now here tina is asking for a permission from her mother to allow her to watch a movie so in this case what are we going to say in indirect speech our sentence becomes tina asked her mother why because here she is seeking a permission she is asking for a permission so we use the reporting verb asked then her mother and let becomes to let me refers to tina so it is her watch a movie this afternoon now this changes to that we have already learned that so our sentence becomes tina asked her mother to let her watch a movie that afternoon harish said to his friends let's plan a picnic now what is this sentence conveying it is a kind of a suggestion let's plan a picnic so how do we write it in the indirect speech we are going to write harish suggested to his friends that they should plan a picnic now this one is a bit different from the ones that we have done already so what do we see we have already said that let's plan a picnic is a kind of a suggestion so our reporting verb becomes suggested now to whom is he suggesting to his friends so to his friends then we use that now till now in all the examples we did not require the conjunction that because we do not use that before the infinitive form of a verb but here we see that there is no infinitive form of the verb in the indirect speech and we have inserted the conjunction that now let's plan a picnic changes to they should plan a picnic so the word let 
is completely omitted. Instead, we have they should. So, let us, this us becomes they because Harish said to his friends, let us. So, us means Harish and his friends together. So, that is third person plural. So, we use the pronoun they. After that, the modal should and then plan a picnic. So, be careful of this word, let's. In the previous example, we had the use of the word let, but there the meaning of let was to ask for a permission. Now, here we are not seeking any permission. It is a suggestion. So, whenever you have the word let's to suggest any form of suggestion or an advice, there the form will be they should or the pronoun and after that the modal should. Then the verb followed by the rest of the sentence. So, what did we learn today? Today, we learned how to change an order or a request or a suggestion in direct speech to its indirect speech. So, to change an order, request or suggestion from direct speech to indirect speech, what are the changes that take place? First, the verb is changed to its infinitive form. That is, the verb which shows the order, request or suggestion takes its infinitive form except for the form lets as in to show some suggestion. Also, the reporting verb undergoes a change. So, if it is given in the form of said, then understanding the meaning of the sentence or what it is trying to convey, we can use the reporting verbs such as told, asked, ordered, commanded, warned, pleaded, requested, advised, suggested, etc. in our indirect speech. So, I hope now you will be able to convert any sentence showing any of the following as in order, request or suggestion to their indirect speech correctly. So, take up more examples of these kinds and practice to make yourself perfect. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5,000 amazing lectures across Maths, Science, English and Social Science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests. Performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.